My son has a disease called mitochondrial disease. Mitochondrial disease is a progressive neurodegenerative disease. There isn't a cure. It's very under-researched because it's at the cellular level. Thankfully, I haven't lost it, but I've sat there. My son had an episode that left us with a three million dollar hospital bill. Three million dollars. Our insurance company in the hospital negotiated down to a million. And of that million, we had just a hundred thousand, no big deal. I'm like four credits away in a dissertation for my doctor, my husband's a nurse, make a good salary. But between our healthcare costs and the rising costs of pharmaceuticals, we just can't do it. This week, he filed for bankruptcy. It is the hardest thing I have ever done. He is totally dependent on Medicaid now. As you please not ever take a vote, it's going to hurt my kids. I am not somebody who reaches off the system. I am a private person. And the fact that I'm crying is very hard. And I need you to make that promise. I have that opportunity to serve in Washington as your representative. I promise you I will do everything I humanly can to help you. As a member of this community, I will do everything no matter what the outcome is in November. A year ago today, my own representative, Congressman Tom MacArthur, introduced a legislation that tried to take away health care from millions of Americans. If I lose my job, we can't afford to get private insurance. Tom MacArthur and Paul Ryan authored a bill that the AARP says would turn back the clock by dramatically raising premiums on older folks like my parents. I got into this fight to protect my family, protect my children. It's not about partisan politics. This is about people's lives. It's about those that we care about most in the world. It's about helping and protect those that can't fight for themselves, but worried about the direction of our country and our health care. And I ask that you stand up with me and fight for our care, because it's not about politics. It's about the people we love. Thank you.